your mind, your body, your soul. I love when you make me feel like I'm in control. We ain't gotta tell no one. Hey fellow foodies, it's Faye from facefood.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this easy, light and moist cinnamon roll cake. So I have my dry ingredients along with my sugar uh, in the bowl of my stand mixer. I have this on the lowest speed it possibly goes to and I'm going to slowly add in my unsalted softened butter in chunks. Now this is called the reverse creaming method. It's obviously different than most cake recipes, but I find that this method really does yield a nice light cake. So I am kind of fond of this method over the other one um, as of now. So I've been making more and more cakes with, with this method. So you really want this on its lowest speed and you're just gonna mix until it reaches kind of a coarse sandy mixture, like so. You don't want to overdo it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and turn it back on to the lowest speed. And I'm gonna add in my milk and my vegetable oil. Of course, we're using whole milk that is at room temperature and the oil and the milk really will help this cake stay nice and moist. Now this is a key important part here. You want to uh, bump it up to the medium speed on your mixer. On a KitchenAid it's a four and you want to mix it for a full two minutes. Do not skip this step because your cake will not rise properly if you do. So after a full two minutes on medium speed, you can see that the consistency of the cake batter is light and fluffy. It's whiter in color. Should look like kind of ice cream or buttercream. That's what you want. All right, so once you scrape down your bowl really well, you can go ahead and turn it back on the lowest setting possible. And we're gonna add in our second batch of ingredients, which is some eggs milk and vanilla extract and you really want to add this in three different additions and you want to make sure that each addition is well incorporated before adding the next one no rush here keep it on the low setting so we don't over mix and add unnecessary air in there Okay, so you can see how light this batter is. And we are done with our cake batter. We can move on to the cinnamon portion of this cake. And I just have some softened unsalted butter, some cinnamon, brown sugar, flour, and a bit of salt in there. And I'm just gonna go in with my clean hands to get this going. You can of course use a mixer, but I didn't wanna really dirty up everything else. So once I get it going with my hands, I can go ahead and switch to a rubber spatula to continue mixing it until it's kind of creamy. It's going to be creamy, but it's still going to be thick on you, so um, if it's too thick, don't, don't worry about that. That's how it should be. Alright, so that's our finished cinnamon mixture ready to go. So I have an 8 by 8 inch square pan. I'm using a glass pan. Of course, you can also use a metal pan. Just be aware that these two um, will cook at different uh, times. So glass typically does take longer to cook than in a metal pan, and that's just because they um, absorb heat differently. Okay, so I have all my batter in there. Of course, our pan is really well greased. I put some cake grease, which there's a recipe on the blog for, but I also sprayed it with some cooking spray. And now I'm just gonna dab in the cinnamon mixture in kind of heaping tablespoons kind of all over. Can't really overdo it at this point. 
and I'm going to use my offset spatula to begin to swirl this in. Key is you don't want to really touch the bottom of the pan, you kind of just want to do this kind of mid batter and you don't want to overdo it. But of course you want to do it enough where it's going to get some swirls. It's kind of tough just because the uh, mixture is a little bit thick so you do got to go uh, a few times but you'll get it. Okay, we're going to actually put this in the oven at 335 and bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. You do want to check it at the 30 minute mark. We're going to tap the pan just lightly so that any excess air escapes from the batter. And after about 30 to 40 minutes, I do let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes out of the oven. But then I put some saran wrap over the top and let it cool the rest of the way. And that's just so that the moisture can be retained in the cake. You can see like the sides of the cake. Uh, you can kind of see like the gooeyness that has formed there, which is wonderful. I also have my homemade cream cheese frosting ready to go. And that recipe will be on there as well. Along with this one. And now I'm just going to now I'm just going to go ahead and spread my cream cheese frosting all over. If you don't like cream cheese frosting, then, I mean, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but if you don't like it, you can, of course, use just like a normal glaze to glaze the top. Just essentially just confectioner sugar, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of salt, and some milk or some water. Just spread this all over. Make sure every little piece of this gets some love. And just uh, note, the, the cake is slightly warm. Uh, just like when you get cinnamon rolls out of the oven and you slather it with cream cheese frosting, you do want these this cake slightly warm. Not, not too much, that will break the frosting, but just a little bit. So now I'm gonna cut into this bad boy so that you can see how it looks. The outsides are nice and like gooey. That, that cinnamon mixture has kind of formed on the outside, as you can see here. So it's legit like a cinnamon roll, but without all the proofing and all that yeast work. It's great. All right, so this is our cinnamon roll cake. All the cinnamon roll flavor without that excess work, waiting and proofing and all that yeast work. None of that nonsense. We just are making a quick, easy cake so we can fulfill our cinnamon roll needs. Uh, the full recipe will be on facefood.com. Make sure you like this video, comment below if you have any comments or questions. I love engaging with you guys, so please feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more great videos on the way. And uh, give this a try, guys. It's a nice, light and fluffy, moist cake with intense cinnamon flavor. You will not regret it. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Quit the game, settle things right here, right now I've been thinking about it I've been thinking about all the things you do I wanna take